Hey guys, Kevin here from Pwn Zone Gaming. Today we're going to be continuing with part 4 of our Minecraft Survival Tutorial Series. Now if you haven't seen any of the previous parts in this series, I recommend you go and check those out because we have covered things that I'm going to be doing in these future videos, so if you want it to make sense, then I recommend going and checking those out. So today what we're going to be doing is basically upgrading our house and pimping it out a lot more than we have in the past. In the first video I kind of showed you how to make your first little um, crappy kind of non-house just so that you could survive survive your night. And then in part three, we actually took and upgraded that um, to a nice stone house, and it's basically just solid stone. Um, and what we're going to be doing in this one is actually creating some glass blocks for windows. We're going to be creating some fancy stone blocks for the floor. Um, we're going to be creating ladders, some stairs, some fences, some fence gates, and things like that to actually really pimp out our house. So to get started, we're going to open up multiplayer, and I'm just going to join into my server. Alright, so over here in Minecraft, you can see that I've added quite a bit to my house offline. Um, I've added in a whole second story. I've added a little hole to the roof, which we're going to put some stairs in there, or some, um, some ladders in there in order to get to the roof. Um, I've also basically finished off the whole bottom floor. I've added it a block higher um, and completely got rid of all the dirt because I ran out in the last episode. Um, so I've also mined a lot of wood um, and I've also mined some coal and stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing first is making some windows. Um, and so in order to make windows we need some sand. Now I already have some sand mined but for those of you who don't know where to get it I'm going to show you. Um, basically, you just need to come down and find any large body of water, um, just random little ponds, um, usually won't have sand around them, but anything large like this, you will be able to find a good deal of sand. So what we're looking for is this tan kind of colored um, block right here, and basically just hit it with your shovel and pick it up, and you'll get some sand blocks. Now you'll take the sand, and we'll take it back to our house, make sure and pick it up. And as I was saying, I already have some sand um that I've mined. So we'll just add the sand that I just got to that and we'll be able to make some glass blocks. And then we'll be able to take and make some windows out of those. So what we need in order to do that is we're going to need some coal. Um, another thing that I mined offline, but I have shown you how to get coal, what it looks like. Um, basically just mine down deep enough and you'll find some coal. Um, that's probably one of the easier resources to get, but it's very valuable. So once we make our way back into my house, it's going to open this up and we're going to go over to our furnace. Okay, so inside of our furnace I already have some coal. Um, again, you need coal in order to make glass blocks. And then we're going to take our sand and just put it up here in this top block, and you'll see that it starts to make some glass. Now I do have some more sand over here, and we're going to take that, throw it in our furnace, and we can basically go do some other stuff while that's working. So I do have some cobblestone here. Let's work on making some stairs for our staircase. Now this basically, the way I've set it up, is just taking and setting cobblestone blocks. Um, in a stair pattern. Um, it's not anything special. Um, you should be able to figure that out on your own. Um, but you do have to jump in order to get up them, so it's kind of annoying. Now with actual stairs, um, you'll be able to just walk and it'll go straight up the stairs and you won't have to jump. So what I'm going to do is come over to my crafting table, grab my cobblestone, and I'm going to be right clicking and basically just taking and making some stairs um, in this pattern. So it basically looks just like stairs. So you're filling out um, the whole left side two on the middle and then one on the right. Um, and so now I can just take and we'll just make two sets of stairs and I'll just hold shift in order to get all of those and you can see that it's made from two sets of blocks. Um, it's made eight steps. So I can take those and lay them down and basically you just take and right click in order to lay them down. Now for some reason these are flipping over. Um, it's very odd. I've laid down probably hundreds of stairs and I've never had this problem but I don't know why they're uh, flipping over. Now, what you can do is take and just lay them down. You can see that you can walk up those without needing to jump now. Um, so it's definitely very convenient. And if you put one down in a place you don't want it, you can take and mine it up. Now I'll probably just conserve these stairs so I can put them in other places. Um, but you can take and see now that I can just walk up those without jumping at all. So it's very handy. So I'm just going to take and throw some out here because it's pretty annoying to have to jump into my door. So now I can just take just walk up the front step. Now you can take and make fancier stairs out of um, some fancier stone blocks I'm going to show you later on. 
um, and you can also take and make them out of wood as well um, by using just wood planks. So um, what I'm going to be doing is probably working on some ladders so that we can get up to the roof of our house. So in order to make ladders, what you need are sticks. So um, we might need to make some sticks first. I'm going to grab some wood, and I already have a few sticks that we can put in my inventory. So our glass blocks are coming along nicely. You can see here's our glass. Um, sand is still continuing to go. So while we wait for that, we're going to take our just regular wood, turn it into planks. I'm just going to do all of it because we're going to need a lot of wood for what we're doing today. And then I'm just going to take and turn this into sticks by splitting the stack by right-clicking on it and then putting it down so that it's one, two, and then just holding shift and clicking on that so we have plenty of sticks. Now in order to make a ladder, you need to make it look pretty much like a ladder. So three all the way down one side, three all the way down another, and then one in the middle, and you'll see that you get a nice ladder. So now I can take and split these, again right clicking, and we can make a decent amount of ladders. Um, we probably won't need that many, but now we have 18 ladders and I can just hold shift and click on all those in order to get those back. So we'll come up here. Again, I'll need to take and fill that in, but just to get, uh, for time's sake, moving on with the next thing, we're going to take and put our ladders in our inventory. And basically you just need to right click um, in order to lay a ladder. So I can put one right there and I can also take and put one too high. Now you only need ladders um, one every other one in order for them to actually work. You can see that I should be able to go up that um, but it usually works out better if you take and have um, ladders on each of these, and maybe we'll even take and extend this out right there. So you should only need ladders every other one, um, but just for aesthetic sake, I usually take and put them all the way up. It's just a couple extra sticks, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So now you can see we are all the way up on top of our house, but we kind of have a little bit of a safety code violation right here. Um, if we fell off of here, we would take a significant amount of damage because we're pretty high off the ground, um, and we don't want to die or lose any health. Also, if we're chilling out up here and a spider comes, the spiders can climb up these walls and get on top of here because we have nothing to prevent them from getting up here. So what we're going to do is take and make a railing. So I'm just going to climb down my ladder just by moving up to it and basically just lowers you down. And we're going to make um, some railings. So basically what I'm going to be doing for that is making some fence pieces. So in order to make fences, we're going to need more sticks. Um, we should probably have enough sticks in order to get the point across. Um, I don't know if we'll have enough to finish it, but we will have enough to actually make some of these fence pieces. So in order to make fence pieces, what you need to do is basically put two rows of sticks. All right, so it looks like that, and you'll see fences show up over there. So I can split these. And we'll take and make a bunch of fence pieces. 14 fence pieces probably won't be enough to fill up the entire top. But we'll see. Maybe we can come back and make some more. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can head back up to the roof of our house. And we can start to lay down some fence pieces. Now you can always take and put some... Um, other stone up here or something just for your wall, but I was kind of wanting to actually look out without having to worry about any enemies, so you can just take and lay these fence pieces down. Now when you lay your first fence piece, I don't know if you saw this, it basically comes up as a pole. So you would have poles and then whenever you put anything in the middle, it automatically connects and makes the other fence pieces, so that's how that all works. Okay, so I don't have quite enough to take and put all this together. Um, but you can see that I have a very nice start here, and I do have plenty of wood, so I might work on that offline, um, depending on how much time we have after covering the other things. So now that we have our glass done, um, it's been cooking in the furnace, I'm going to take that, and it seems I just got some experience for that, if you heard that little chime. Um, put the glass in my inventory, and then we'll start working on something else in the furnace so that we can always have that working for us. Um, I'm just going to take some cobblestone, place that in the furnace now, Basically, you may have noticed whenever you mine stone that you find out in just the quarries and whatnot, um, that it turns into cobblestone and it doesn't look the same after you mine it. And that's because um, you're turning basically stone into cobblestone. So in order to turn cobblestone back into a stone block, you need to put it in the furnace. And then once you have it as a stone block, you can do some fancier stuff with it. So I'm just going to throw all that cobblestone in there um, so that we can start working on that. Now, what I have here are my glass blocks. Let's throw those in my inventory. And the way that glass works is basically just like any other block. You mine out an area. Maybe we'll make this too wide. And we can take and throw in our glass. You want to be careful because you don't want to have to break it because um, I don't think you can get it back. So now you can see we have some nice windows in our house. 
Now you can take and make regular windows without needing to put any um, glass in them. Right here, um, the only thing that can hurt you is a skeleton um, with a bow because they can shoot arrows through this opening. Um, if you left it like this without any glass, um, a spider can crawl in a 2x2 two two hole. So if you were chilling out in here, um, a spider could get through this and, um, and kill you. So you want to make sure that you either have a 1x1 one one or that you fill it with glass. So right here, we should be safe from um, anything that comes along um, from the outside. So I can come along here. Maybe we'll take and mine this out. There's some windows in here. So now our house is turning out a lot cooler than it was. Maybe we'll put it over here. I'm not a fan of it touching next to the stairs, but it's kind of how it turned out. And then maybe we'll take and put one in right here. So now we've got some fancy windows. Now the only problem with windows is the default texture on the glass is pretty annoying. Um, I don't know why it couldn't have just been a clear block, um, but they put these stupid little... I don't know, squares on there. And so if you're trying to see out of there, sometimes it gets a little annoying. Um, so what I think I'm going to do for the second floor is actually use some fence pieces and um, create something fancy um, up there. So what I'm going to do is probably take and make some more fence pieces while our stone is cooking. So again, we're going to need some wood, so I'm just going to probably split that. Um, we already have some sticks, but we're going to make some more. So making planks, turning it into, um, or taking wood and making it into planks then turning those planks into sticks and then taking those sticks and we're going to turn it into fence pieces by taking and putting them three by three here okay so we'll make a ton of fence pieces here so we have 32 that should be a good deal um, now you can also make a fence gate um, I'm going to show you how to do that basically we need to have Sounds like it's raining outside. Anyway, um, in Minecraft, what you need to do in order to have a fence gate is two sticks on the left, two sticks on the right, and then you're going to need two um, of these wooden planks in the middle, and that will make a fence gate. Now you can take an open and close that. So I'm going to take, and it is raining. Um, a little tip about raining. Um, if it's raining outside, the enemies can take and spawn there. Um, so you want to make sure that you're staying inside, otherwise... Um, they can spawn in the rain even if it is daytime. I do have a little bit of a security issue here. Um, we can block that off. Nothing can get through this one by one, um, at least from the roof, because the only thing you can get up there right now is spiders, um, unless something spawns. So we'll keep an eye on that, but it should be okay. So if we really are paranoid, we might be able to block it in. But for the most part, I think we're safe. Um, so what I'm going to be doing in this top part here is actually taking the fence, and I'm going to mine out a nice chunk here. And what I'm going to do is take and throw some fence pieces in here. And basically, if there's nothing on either side of the fence, what we're going to have are these kind of elements right here. So I can take and look out of here without having to deal with any of the glass blocks. Um, as I was saying before, they sometimes block your vision a little bit. And I can basically take and put these fence pieces here. And this is going to block anything from getting in here because this fence piece takes up one block and there's only one open block and then there's another fence piece here so there's only technically one open block so nothing can get through here such as a spider um, and I think it looks pretty cool as a design element especially when we get to the outside um, and look at it from a distance so that's what I'm going to be doing right there um, so that's not anything new that's just kind of a little design tip that I kind of wanted to throw out there see how it looked and I'm kind of liking the look of it um, it makes it feel a lot more open than a blocked in area so we're going to come back down here, and I'm going to show you basically um, what I like to do in my houses are usually take and put down wooden floors. So right now I have cobblestone, and you might want to have cobblestone before, below your wood just in case something blows up. Um, you'll be a little bit safer because cobblestone doesn't blow up quite as easy. But what you can do is come over here, grab some of your wooden planks, and I can just throw those in where I had the stone before. And you can take and lay those down. And I'll probably take and fill out this entire floor with wooden planks just because I think it looks nicer. Um, we're at a stage now where we can basically, we're surviving, so now we just need to improve our quality of life um, basically by taking and making our stuff cooler instead of just making it so that we can survive. So in an effort to make it cooler, putting in some hardwood floors. Again, this is just from wood. Um, by taking the regular jungle wood or oak wood or whatnot and putting in your crafting table and making wooden planks. So, you see we're starting our nice wooden floor. I'll probably finish that off 
outside. Oh, hey, here we go. We've got one of our first enemies. I don't think we've actually come across any enemies in Minecraft so far in this survival series. This is a skeleton. You can kind of see the tip of his bow right there. He will shoot you with his arrows, and he's dead accurate. He has the worst aimbot ever, um, or best aimbot ever, I guess. Out there, you can also see a creeper. Um, these guys can come out in the day, and if they get close enough to you, um, they will blow up. You'll hear kind of a little sizzling sound, which gives you about half a second to move away before they explode, destroy a huge chunk of land, and um, most likely will kill you if you're not paying attention. Um, but if you can kill them before they kill you um, or explode, then you will get gunpowder, which you can see that I actually killed one, and I've got some gunpowder right here, and you can actually take and make TNT out of that. Um, which we'll be doing later once we've collected some more gunpowder. So if you see these guys out and about, um, you will want to take and kill them if you can, um, or avoid them depending on what your uh, difficulty setting is at. And basically how much armor you have, um, which we haven't covered yet, or how much life you have, or food, and um, other lots of other factors. So again, those guys come out at night or when it's raining, so... Um, I'm just going to stay in the safety of my house. Now our furnace has stopped, and you can see that we now have some stone blocks. All right. Now stone blocks, you can do um, some interesting things with those. I'm going to throw some more stone in there, um, some cobblestone, so that we can get some regular stone blocks. If I put these next to each other, you can see the difference. Cobblestone isn't quite as refined as regular stone. So now what we can do with our stone blocks um, or we can take and make slabs out of them. That's pretty cool. Um, basically, just lay down three in a row horizontally, and you can make a stone slab. Now, stone slabs, um, if I take and put those in my inventory and lay one down, you can see that they have, one, a nice polished kind of look, um, and two, um, they only take up half of a block. You can see if I lay down a regular block next to it, then you'll see that it only takes up half of the space. Um, so you can lay these down as floor, and you won't have to worry about... Um, Uh-oh, we have an Enderman in our house. Endermen are pretty much... Um, won't hurt anything. Um, they are kind of frustrating, because they'll steal some of your blocks. Um, but they won't hurt you unless you stare at them. Um, and so I'm just going to ignore him. Basically, they can teleport too, so that might be how he got in here. Either that or because we left the um, roof open. I'm assuming it's because he just teleported in. Now, um, what we're talking about here is this um, stone slab. Now, if he actually comes downstairs, I might kill him. Or if I need to go up there and he doesn't leave. <laughs> He's trolling around up there. We'll get our sword out just in case. Okay. So what we're going to be um, showing right here is the stone slab once I finally get back to talking about that. And you can take and lay those down, and you can take and make your stone last longer by turning it into slabs rather than just laying it down as the stone, because for each stone block, um, or each three stone blocks, you'll get six, six stone slabs, so you'll end up basically doubling the length of your stone life. Um, so that's kind of nice. You can take and also pull them back up by hitting them with a pick. Okay. So, um, one other thing that you can do is take and come to your crafting table, and you can take and make fancy stone blocks, which is what I call them. I think they're called stone bricks. Um, but basically, you can take and put four stone blocks right next to each other, like that, and then you make these stone bricks. Now, these do look fancy, and they're probably one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft, um, just because they look really cool but they are kind of time consuming to make because you need the cobblestone, then you need the stone, and then you have to take four of those in order to actually make the stone brick. Now you can also take and make those into stairs if you would like. You can see that you can make those into, into stairs um, if you don't want just regular cobblestone. But what I'm going to do is take and put those in my inventory and you can see that we can start to take and make maybe our wall or something out of fancier stone. You can see that that looks kind of nicer. Um, so I'll probably take and make most of the walls out of that. Ah, he's still up there. We need to get rid of him. Maybe we'll go fight him. Um, let's see what else I wanted to talk about. Um, I've talked about the gates. Um, I haven't actually... Oh, I think he's gone. Oh, no, he's still up there. Anyway, we'll take and I'll show you how to make the gate down here. Basically, you just take and put your fence like so. And then what you do is take and get your gate in your hand. And then you take and throw your gate basically right in your fence. I think you might actually need a longer fence piece than that. So we'll take and make it a little longer. And there you go. You can see that I've made the gate. 
put it right there. So you just need to attach it in between um, a couple pieces of fence and then you can have a gate and you can keep animals in there. You can keep, um, basically, if you wanted to put one around your house, then you could get into the perimeter of your house and um, you can't jump over this. Uh, enemies can't jump over this. So unless it's an Enderman or something and they teleport over, um, then this should keep enemies out. So um, making gates, I already showed you that earlier. Seems I've destroyed... Oh, no, I didn't. I picked it up really quick. So we can take and pick that stuff back up so we can use it in another place. So we talked about making gates. We talked about making um, fences. We talked about um, putting down hardwood for floors and using that wood as something other than just a crafting element. Um, we talked about making stairs, ladders, fancy stone bricks, um, stone blocks, and glass. So now it's um, basically all that's left to do is kill that... Oh, what the heck? Where did he go? I was going to kill him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, that's okay. It's probably better to avoid the fight than to do it. They do drop things that you might need to use, but you can take um, and kill them if necessary. But usually they'll teleport out before you can finish them off, making them a little bit harder to kill and their drops a little bit more valuable. So now I kind of have my top part fenced in. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do out here. I might make another story um, on this or something. Um, but... As of now, it's fenced in, and we're good to go. So now, basically, all I can, all I need to do is start finishing off those things that I started. So, laying down my pieces, and just finishing off those design elements that I was talking to you guys about. So I think this is going to look pretty cool. I'm probably going to finish this offline, so I'll probably end up finishing this off. Um, but you can see that we have a nice start to our house, and we've definitely worked on pimping it out quite a bit. Um, sorry that I didn't finish this, but I wanted to preserve time just so that um, you guys don't have to sit here and watch me dig out and fill in an entire floor with wood or dig out all the walls and fill them in with this. I just wanted to show you how to make those blocks so that you can kind of um, do that on your own time and so that I'm not taking up your time. Um, so I think that we've covered everything that I wanted to do in this tutorial, so um, make sure and subscribe so you can check back for um, more Minecraft survival tutorials um, in the future. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next survival video.